On November 4, 1922, British archaeologist Howard Carter found the entrance to Pharaoh Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. The boy Pharaoh Tutankhamun reigned circa 1332 to 1323 BC, his name meaning that he is the living image of the god Amun. Tut was likely the son of the rather unique pharaoh Akhenaten, the husband to Nefertiti, who herself ranks seventh on a list of top ten African rulers, kings, and emperors from our sister site, Top Tens. Tut's father's uniqueness stems from attempting something of a religious revolution. Tut's father tried to focus worship on the sun disk Aten in what some scholars identify as a type of monotheism in rejection to the usual polytheism associated with ancient Egyptians. Tut was even originally called tut ankh i.e. the living image of Aten, before changing his name following his father's death when traditional polytheism was restored. Given that he ascended the throne as a nine- or ten-year-old boy and died at age 18, he probably did not make many decisions by himself during his short reign. Moreover, the young pharaoh, a possible product of incest, died under mysterious circumstances, probably by accident, although some suggest assassination as the culprit. Tut was subsequently mummified and entombed. He became largely a historic footnote until the Earl of Carnarvon and Howard Carter's research in the early 20th century. Although Carter made the groundbreaking discovery of the tomb on this date just over a hundred years ago, he did not peer inside for a few more weeks. Then, on November 26, 1922, he looked inside, probably the first human to do so in thousands of years. Carnarvon asked Carter if he could see anything. Carter replied, Yes, wonderful things. Carter's meticulous work cataloging the many items in the tomb greatly advanced our knowledge of ancient Egypt. The discovery of Tut's mummy, along with the beautiful mask of the young man's face, and the impressive sarcophagi, in which he rested undisturbed for centuries, are without any doubt the most famous discoveries in all of Egyptology. Artifacts from the tomb have been exhibited throughout the world and have inspired dozens of films and even songs. Yet as for the claims that Carter and others associated with the tomb were somehow cursed, well, that is mere myth. The discovery of Tut's tomb ranks seventh on a list of the top ten most important historical finds, again, on our sister site. For more information about ancient Egypt, we encourage you to visit our site as well as top tens. Thank you for listening to our video and watching it, of course. And please subscribe for more. Have a wonderful day.